Smith. Um, you get to see Is it okay if we record your voice for a podcast series that we run? What? Really? You know, I was actually thinking about doing a podcast myself. Really? Go on. Oh. Well, basically what we do is we just put this here and we just carry on. Thank you. Really? <laughs> actually, uh... I was actually thinking of doing something similar with a buddy of mine in Vancouver, but by the way, by way of Skype. Mm-hmm. Like a Skype podcast? Yeah. It's, it's doable. Anything's is this, doable. Is this thing on? <laughs> it is on. But, okay. Uh, unfortunately, I got a boogie in, in a minute. Maybe okay. I can, maybe I can stretch it for a moment, but, you know. A minute? Sure. I can, a moment. I can hang out and do your crazy podcast. <laughs> it is a crazy yeah. podcast. Okay. Tell us something crazy about yourself. The craziest, the that you craziest? Want, that you want to share with the public. Oh, shit. Okay. You know what? Maybe I will use your bully pulpit for my own nefarious purpose here. <laughs> <laughs> the craziest thing about myself is that I was a grandfather at 27. That's the craziest, pleasant wow. thing about myself. Let's put it this way. 27-year-old way. grandfather. Oh, yeah, yeah let, let me run it down for you. <laughs> my ex, 11 years my senior had a daughter who was approximately six, seven years my junior. And when I was 27, after I had been with her mom for about a year, year and a half, Lisa, Lorraine's daughter, had a kid, Emerald. I'll give you a twofer here. Okay. <laughs> and this again serves my nefarious purpose that I mentioned. The fact that cut to about 10 years later, when I come home from work, after having worked from 7 o'clock in the morning, and I had to get my ass up at 5.30 to get there, actually just about quarter after 5, to get there, you know what I mean, get out the door by that time, to get on transit, to get to the other end of the lower mainland, do my fucking job, 7 till 3, and then I do another job from 5 till 9, and then I get home at about 10 o'clock, 10.30. I uh, woke up on the highway, but that's a story for another podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but do you mean point, you fell asleep on the highway? Well, Is that what you said? Obviously, yes. Okay. But I was driving down the highway when I was still driving a car to commute before I had to do the long ass transit, yeah. and I was driving down the highway, and because I fell asleep, I had been essentially driving in my sleep. I don't know how long. Holy shit. I'm reckoning probably no more than 30 seconds because I had not drifted, there were no horns, there was no distress. I just woke up and I was never more awake in my fucking life. Let me tell you folks, <laughs> you've never been more awake in your life than when you wake up on the fucking highway <laughs> and you don't die. <laughs> but that's just a that's just a passing thing. The thing about Lorraine is that cut to 10 years after the birth of Emerald, Lorraine takes our son, Jesse, who was just shy of six years old at the time and she moves in the middle of the day without telling so I haven't seen my kid in about 11 years so sorry to hear that. yeah well quite frankly again you present me with a unique opportunity in that sure. if there's a possibility that somebody who knows her might hear this or she herself or my kid who if he's anything like me at the age of 17 now maybe almost on the cusp of 18 Maybe he's thinking for himself. Maybe he can find me. Well, I definitely want to get your information yep. because if for no other reason, my own crazy vanity. <laughs> and also to fucking hopefully help myself here and maybe reconnect with my kid if possible. Sure. So, yeah, if I may be awesome. very specific, Please, if my well, child... Just, just for the record, that, that podcast is Strangers We Know. Strangers We Know podcast. <laughs> and if I can make a recommendation, maybe check out the episode with Will Noy and, yeah. and tell them that they should have him on again. That's just, oh, oh, nice. that's, thank, thank you, yeah. Will, for subsuming my heartfelt emotional moment. That's great. I appreciate that. All right. No, but here's the thing, though. So, honestly, because now, now that I fucking came off the sidelines and took part, I was listening to your story, man. I love this. But right? it is, it is I, surprising. I hate that I have to use this. I hate that I have to say this in public to people. I hate that I have to admit to this horrible thing happening to but me. But your story is not uncommon. There are many men who are denied visitation yeah, and any sort of rights with no and I ain't no, no fucking men's behind. activist bullshit. No, 100%. Advocate. That's, that's 100%. crazy. Man. And quite frankly, if you wanted to have a long-ass podcast, I could give you the story as to what fucking happened, essentially. Mm -hmm. But I never hit her, I never hurt her, I never starved her. 
we had a relationship where, we, where she was sleeping on the couch for a couple of fucking years. Mm. You dig what I'm saying? So, in the course of a 10 year relationship, when shit goes that cold, you better fucking split up. But she didn't have to take off and not tell me. If she had said, I have to fucking go, I would have pleaded and tried to get her to stay, but I'm also hoping I would have been smart enough to realize that I can't fucking hold on to that shit. You know what I mean? You have to fucking move on for the good of the child. I ain't talking no fucking hillbilly craziness here, but there was some fairly dark emotional shit that I could think would affect my child. And I ain't going to get this in, in any of my own personal shit from my own childhood on the podcast. Sorry, ladies. But I wouldn't want a, a, a percentage of that, a, let alone a tenth of it, to affect my kid. Like the horrible shit that happened to me when I was a fucking kid. You know what I mean? And I go into stories and what have you, but nobody cares because, quite frankly, this happened to a lot of us. It's happened to fucking a lot of us. All the crazy ass shit. Yeah, I, I don't agree with nobody cares. I think people well, do care. Fair enough. I think we're just... Uh, I, I'm talking about to addressing a very things. specific purpose here. Again, yeah. I'm subsuming your podcast, essentially, for a very personal yeah. political reason. If my kid, whose name is Jesse Andrew William Harold Smith, crazy enough, which should make him super searchable, but trust me, and the thing is... I'm resorting to using the fucking podcast because I don't have the money for any sort of detection agency. But I make too much money for like public advocacy, for people to like do this service for me. So I can't afford to have a fucking lawyer go into this. I know roughly where she is. She's in Edmonton. And if I had some money, you know what I mean? Like I've tried to fucking GoFundMe page and shit like that to try to raise this money. The, the, this is the Strangers with Drugs podcast. <laughs> strangers, strangers we know. We know. Strangers <laughs> we know. Okay. Fine. <laughs> but here's the thing. If anybody listening to Strangers We Know on fine podcast platforms everywhere, and apparently YouTube and all that shit, <laughs> if anybody out there knows, for example... Lorraine Birth Effects, which is the full legal name of my ex. May I ask, did she accuse you of being aggressive with her or something? No. 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 Has there been any communication? She had done this before, okay? okay? Like, when I first had started going with Lorraine, I sat at the other end of a Thanksgiving dinner table with her mom. And her ex, her fucking ex at the time, if you'll use the, if you'll excuse the expletive language here. We and don't mind. We this, enjoy the color. Yeah. <laughs> a combination of a lawyer and private detection to actually find her and basically oh, serve her a Sorry. subpoena that says, I want to see your ass in court so I can make sure that I can see my kid. Because I want to know if my fucking kid is dead or alive. Basically, that's the basic thing for me. Everything else is fucking great. Are you worried that he's not? Well, here's the thing. I've tried to get a hold of her on Facebook. She's blocked my ass. Uh, okay. Would you mind if I took a hit off that? No, go, if I for could be a, go for it. Go for it. You may want to restart. Presume. All right. Wow. So wait, how you, you're you're saying you're asking people if they've seen him or heard of him or her? How do they contact you? Well, I'm easy to find on Facebook. My name is David Michael Phillips Smith. You can find me just by Googling Facebook. Googling Facebook. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm an old person. There should only be one thing, goddammit. Speaking of Facebook, I've obviously tried to contact I mean, that's the first fucking thing I thought of. I obviously tried to contact her on every platform, mm-hmm. tried to find her yeah. myself. You know what the cop told me when I first called him? The cop said, okay, get a lawyer. I don't know specifically what I have to do, but I presume that there's a legal mechanism that would allow me to sue for the custody of my son, at least to see him. I want to make sure that it's his decision, because I haven't seen this kid for 10 years. His mom could have told him anything, because if my kid wants to say, fuck you, Dad, you haven't seen me in fucking 10 years, go fuck yourself. But here's the thing. If anybody within the reach of this, the voice of this podcast here 
has any contact with either Lorraine Birth Effects, yeah. my kid, who again is named Jesse Andrew William Harold Smith. As yeah. far as I know, last living in Edmonton. I've had a couple of girlfriends, a bunch of friends, hit her up on Facebook and because they aren't blocked. Yeah, yeah. They could send a communication to her. So they sent an email that I dictated that basically said, in general, look, I just want to see my kid. Yeah. I don't have any animosity. I don't have any anger. I would not do anything to possibly hurt you or my kid. Yeah. I just want to know if my kid is dead or alive. Yeah. Everything else is gravy, like I said before. I just want to make sure that I can see Jesse. I just want to see what happened. I want yeah. to see if I can help because I'm the kid's fucking dad. It's also my responsibility. Even though I've been essentially absolved of this for more than a decade because my girlfriend, my ex, has not gotten in contact with me. And she could have. I lived in the place where we shared for about uh, five years in this fucking apartment, three-bedroom apartment, that I ended up renting out to two other fucking dudes to pay the rent when I split up with her. Just to, you know, to fucking things make, make things a little bit more bearable. But I live there mostly because maybe she might be able to find me more easily. If she knows exactly where the fuck I am, and I have a very clear presence on Facebook where you cannot help but find me. I published my phone number on fucking oh, Facebook, okay. dude. You know what I mean? So I made every simple effort that I could afford, which seems so fucking lame. Once he sees this, he will want to get you. Quite, quite frankly, Jeff, you're incredibly I would intelligent. Once you get the information, all you need is some proper spending on Google AdWords, and your message will find him. I was despairing that nobody wanted to fucking talk to me here in the weed cafe. <laughs> That's a whole other story for another podcast. But here's the thing. There's a song coming to me right now. Um, <laughs> For today and don't worry about tomorrow. Hey. Yeah. Like I said a little while ago, I had a heart attack a couple years ago. Okay. I uh, was on the fifth floor of a warehouse that was approximately a block. You know what I mean? A, a, a block square. A block of real estate was the size of this warehouse. Okay. In a, in in Coquitlam, which is a suburb of Vancouver, but in on the west coast, so it's a major enough city, right? Anyhow, I'm on the fifth floor of this fucker. It's got an elevator, but that's for freight. You, you're not, you're not going to ride that. But I'm dying, but oh shit, I might die horribly. Because that's the reason why you can't ride the freight elevator. Because if there's something else on there, or if it shifts, you can be killed horribly. And people have been in the history of this company. This company that has existed now for decades, since the 50s. I actually heard about this thing first reading a Stephen King book about this mythical Iron Mountain place in fucking Pennsylvania, <laughs> which was the site that was the government repository for all the crazy information <laughs> against the nukes, okay? But, th and, and then 30 years later, 40 years later, I'm working this company. I'm moving documents and shit. That's pretty dope. This is the horrible conspiracy. Yeah, the horrible conspiracy is that this is really a shitty job. But it was like a regular job. In the case that his name might be changed, is there anything that, like any visible like a birthmark or something so this person might know no no but i've published his picture okay the, the last picture i had of a man brains on facebook yeah. on the regular okay again. so people should be really basically go to your facebook page indeed okay if they can and again my name is david michael phillips and quite frankly i hate to say this i also feel greasy as fuck using an entertainment platform to try to find my kid, but what the hell, you guys happened into my lap. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. And my girlfriend's gonna be mad at me because I'm, I was <laughs> talking to her, but this is a genuine opportunity. Yeah. If again, this is something that's gonna reach people. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then what the hell? Uh, anyhow, I gotta make this short because I do got a boogie in a moment, but I can, <laughs> I can dedicate another five or 20 minutes. <laughs> five to 20 minutes. <laughs> no, but hey, God damn, I forget the name of this town. I'm gonna have to consult my girlfriend. Okay. But and I might have to get you to give a shout out to Keisha. Maybe I can get her to listen to this. Just say so a shout out to Keisha. Shout, shout out, out to Keisha. <laughs> shout, shout out to my girlfriend Keisha Antoine. I really had a reason for not calling you back right away. I really swear I did. Yeah. But hopefully if this is gonna get me in contact with my kid, if at all possible. Yeah. Why the hell not? I listen to a bunch of homemade shit by people that nobody's ever heard of and everybody else does too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Quite frankly. I don't know if you've ever heard of Jacob Farwar. He's a podcaster from Australia. Okay. He's essentially a medical technologist. Mm. But 
Uh, he does this podcast called Imaginary Friends. It's done by way of Skype, and he interviews a bunch of people in the atheist community oh, about cool. crazy religious craziness mm. <laughs> and other social oddities and whatnot. That it's it's hilarious. Really awesome. Yeah, here's the thing. Uh, with regard to my kid, if anybody in the sound of my voice could get a hold of them and get a hold of me, and I'll go as far as <laughs> what, what the hell, you know, if, if any crazies want to fuck with me and give me a call, <laughs> whatever, bring it on. But if, let alone my kid or Lorraine or somebody is going to hear this, then get a hold of me. My phone number is 416-417-0580. And if you're going to fuck with me, please be gentle. But trust me, if you fuck with me hard, I will fuck you back. Assuming that, assuming that there are enough people out there are going to be listening to this so that there's going to be a subset of cranks who will want to say, oh, you're so faggot or whatever. The YouTube equivalent of, you know, this sort of weird, why would you take the time to make a comment like that comment? You know what I mean? Why do you care? What the fuck stake would you possibly have? Okay. People just want to talk shit online. But, That's all no, people I'm, want to do. Yeah, but, okay, <laughs> nobody online is going to publish their goddamn phone. Yeah. Because, let's face it, there's a possibility of weird cranks calling. And I'm just saying, mm-hmm. whatever, you know, have a heart, weird cranks. But if you want to crank hard, believe me, I will crank you fucking back. <laughs> Nonetheless. There's a whole movie about that. Yeah, there you go. I'm thinking about doing a podcast myself for this specific reason, and to me that also feels greasy as fuck because essentially I'm panhandling over a wide scale. You're, I think I think you're I think you're taking the an opportunity. The internet is the best way to connect to the world. Yeah, indeed, and because it's getting cheaper and more ubiquitous. I think that's a smart move. Worst that can possibly happen is I'm being massively pranked. I don't mean to sound vain or anything, but this is a good recording with a little box. Here. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gotta ask. Yeah. Uh, I gotta ask. Why you? Because you're sitting here with us and we're having a conversation. Can I take pictures of you? Bunch of them would run. Okay. Sure. You're comfortable with so they would run to place or whoever. Give me a minute. I'm old, but I'm still silent. I had to be blunt, but how much do I owe you? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. No. Now, if I get some money, can I contribute? It because I've done this to other podcasts. There's a bunch of homemade podcasts, as I'm sure you know, out there, which have been attempting to monetize themselves. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Well, I mean that's ultimately the direction we're moving. Exactly. However, y- however, this is ob- absolutely free. But if you ever feel like you want to contribute or donate or whatever in the future. Yeah. You're welcome to do that. No, I, I would feel perfectly. Trust me, if this is a platform for getting me to see my kid, even if my kid ultimately chooses to say, again, fuck you, Dad, I don't want to see you. You know what I mean? But despite the fact that things went bad between me and Lorraine, I was never bad enough to her. And you know what I mean? Every, every, and I realize every fucking asshole says this. You know what I mean? Every fucking asshole says this. I could be the asshole that was beating and starving her and fucking psychologically torturing her and all of that crazy ass shit. But I didn't. I swear. Again, it's Jesse Andrew William Harold Smith. J E S S E. That's no, that's, that's what not, started no. this whole thing. No, it's not. Is your friend's name is J E S S I. Right. Oh, that's my kid's name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, holy crap, we have a podcast group. <laughs> I've done everything for free and I'm all out of ideas. You know what? The right time and the right moment, and who knows, maybe this will be it. Maybe. I've also called uh, variants of Lisa Fex or uh, found them on Facebook. But again, if you're blocked on Facebook, then you won't see the rest of it. So that's why I've gone by way of subterfuge, getting friends or sometimes friends of friends to contact her, send her emails. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Let her know that people know that this shit happens. Well, I just want to uh, to call my girlfriend oh, on your podcast. I'm okay. Do it by way of speakerphone, if I may. Okay. And uh, I, I just want to I just want to have actual people explain what we're doing here because this is crazy. Is she gonna? 
Yeah. Think right this there. is strange? Yeah. It was interesting. Oh, yes. She's going to think this is and weird like, as fuck. Spots my and again, oh, she like, might here's make the same contention. Well, like, oh, does this actually exist? I don't, yeah. you know, I don't know. But whatever. But hey, Keisha. How are you? I'm actually having the weirdest afternoon. Can I Can I let these ladies introduce themselves really quickly? Oh, actually, I'm Hi, Keisha. <laughs> Hi, Keisha. We're just sitting at a, at a pot lounge, <laughs> myself and my co-host of a podcast called Strangers You Know Podcast. It's a new up-and-coming podcast series um, representing Toronto. And we're chatting with David. I know, right? And if you want to, David, if you want to share with her what you've been talking about, that would be awesome. Yeah, well, okay. Like I said to these people, are you pranking me? Does this actually exist? I haven't gone to YouTube yet and checked this out, but they assure me this does exist. <laughs> and people do listen to this. And I'm yeah. talking to these people about yeah, ways of contacting my kid, like okay? Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's put... Yeah. Like, Could you do me a favor? Like, you know, like, like, that's what I've been doing. Are you still there, honey? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. Can you look up Lisa Fex on your Facebook and find out what city she's in? Because I took a chance here. I actually put my phone number on blast on this podcast. It doesn't invalidate And like I contended on this podcast... Okay, yeah. Are you on this that's what I. That's what. That's one of the we're, things that I do. We're like recording. Yeah. It's not live. I thought you'd appreciate this, honey. So and I wanted to explain myself in a way. But no, this okay. is a this okay. is a real what did you thing. Want me to do? Uh, well, I want you to look up so Lisa Fex on your Facebook and no see what city she's in. Those. Okay. How about I find this information? Oh no! Okay. But again, I just wanted to, you know, make this known that this was a thing, and I, I just wanted to finish telling my story here, get information. Okay, baby, yeah, thank you very I much. Thanks, and Keisha. And no, I, I will, no, I will talk I'm, to you ASAP. Okay. 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 Bye bye. Good luck on your Thank you very kindly, my friend. And I'm just going to state this for the record on the podcast here again. Her name is Lisa Hike, H U Y C K E, and she lives in Brighton. What did you say? Yeah, she lives in Brighton, Ontario, apparently. Again, my phone number is 416-417-0580. Again, Lorraine, Birth Effects, Jesse, Andrew, William, Harold, Smith, uh, Lisa Hike, anybody, call me. And again, your name? My name is David Smith. That's... That's the David template. Michael so Phillips that's Smith. Where you're, you can find that's me on where Facebook. Your level is. Folks, very good to meet you all. <laughs> Take it easy. Smith. Sir, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you very kindly. And, uh, yeah, yeah check I'm, out I'm the show. I'm going to look forward to checking this out. What the heck? Check it out. I came to the right place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing. I mean, I was despairing of this place for the first little while. <laughs> you know, nobody wanted to come and hang out with me. And I thought, Jesus, what the fuck? Ah, am I that horrible? I mean, I'm, I'm not that horrible. And look at you, I mean, surrounded by look, new people. Look, if people listen to podcasts, hopefully I'm not that horrible. <laughs> Thanks. I'm You're not hungry horrible. for the approval of the crazy, unwashed mashes. <laughs>